you should use solar energy where you can find it. And you should use other forms of energy where you need them. So the Emirates love to do it bigger and better with buildings and entertainment, but now the Emiratis are chasing the dream of building the world's biggest solar park. They say that it will cover up to 75% of Dubai's energy needs by 2050. What are the realities of this dream? Well, it's a little difficult to say. First of all, the difference between electricity and energy, that's something we started talking about some time ago. After all, energy includes things like gasoline for cars, flying aircraft, heating buildings with fuel. Electricity is only 20% in general of the energy market. And solar panels generally make electricity. They don't make energy per se. The energy, therefore, is partly fulfilled by the electricity, but mostly fulfilled still by fossil fuels, even in the Emirates. However, I know in the Emirates, they do have the idea of building an enormous solar field. And it's a great idea because they have the sun, they have the land, they have everything, and they have the, the cash to build it. On the other hand, there are other examples where solar is good if you have it, but it's not so great. The main example that I'm thinking of is in California, where there are, are already two enormous solar fields, solar farms, in the, in the Mojave Desert. And if you take all of the energy, all of the electricity made by these two, plus all of the private uh, installations for solar panels that make electricity and you say how much of the total electricity in California is fulfilled by the solar including these two in, uh, incredible farms in 2014 which is the last number I've got it was five percent of the electricity bill which means it's one percent of the energy bill not bad but it's not the world's beater there are other solutions of course but the thing is if you have the Sun use it. If you have free land, use it. If you have wind, use it. But if you don't have that, you need something else. And there is something else which we have talked about in other times. But in any case, solar stuff, solar panels, are really very, very good and they're getting better with time. Okay, so Elon Musk, he's now trying to make the move into the solar energy business. Can he make it as attractive as he has with Tesla cars? Well, I think it depends on really, once again, where his market is. If his market is Wyoming and Arizona and places where there's plenty of free land and plenty of sun, I think that's all right. I think in the larger cities like Chicago, Boston, New York, etc., it's going to be a lot of difficulty to get enough solar energy to make the car run. But on the other hand, it could happen. My own feeling is that in, this, in the wilderness areas or the desert areas, fine, it'll work. In, in congested areas like large cities, I would be somewhat more reluctant. Okay, now we know solar is a great idea. It's good for the environment. What are some of the problems facing solar energy and how can we fix them? Well, the problems really are in two, in two senses there are problems. Number one, there's an unfixable problem and that is that populations are concentrating more and more. People are going from rural areas to urban areas. It's a general demographic move. And in urban areas, you simply don't have enough space to, to lay out a lot of solar panels. Now, if you start saying, well, if you, if you then say, well, maybe we should move the panels where the people were before and put the people in the cities and put the panels where they were, then you have a transmission difficulty because transmitting the energy from the solar panel areas into the cities at the moment, in any case, loses a tremendous amount of, the efficiency is very low. So I'm convinced that you should use solar energy where you can find it. And you should use other forms of energy where you need them. The same is the story with wind. And on top of all of that, you have to think about the ecological aspect in terms of, uh, of appearance. After all, solar panels and turbines, they look kind of fun if there are a few of them around. But do you really want to have them all over the place? I'm not convinced. Okay, well, thank you, Howard, for joining us in the studios once again. It's a pleasure. It's been my pleasure, too. Thank you. That wraps up today's interview. But don't forget to click back onto Dukas Copy TV for the latest business news. Goodbye for now. Oh, <laughs>